Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and just this morning I got some good news that I've been really waiting to hear regarding the coronavirus pandemic, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Since the very beginning of this experience, there have been two things that I've been looking for in the news, stories that I was hoping that I was going to hear, because they would mean that we were getting towards the end of this experience. And I know that all of us are very excited to get back to, you know, something that's more akin to what's normal in our lives. Uh, so. The two things that I've been looking for are one, the idea that a lot of people in the society would have already gotten coronavirus and that would create a degree of immunity. Sort of like if there's wildfires ripping through your area, if your neighbors have a bunch of dry brush and the wildfire rips through their yard and doesn't rip through your yard, you know that you are a little bit protected from wildfires in the future because you know there's not all that uh, free floating fuel in the people around you and you know that it's, you know, too bad for them, <laughs> they had fire ripped through their house, but you know that it's gonna uh, protect you a little bit because the fire is not gonna move through your area as easily. And it's the same way with uh, coronavirus or any other disease. If there are a lot of people around you who have already had it, or if people get to a point where they have a vaccine and people are vaccinated against it and they have a degree of immunity that way, it protects you because the disease can't tear through the population that well. That has not happened yet in the United States. We are looking uh, into the fall and winter and I think we are going to experience a lot of that and once we get to the fall of 2021 I think because of so many people in the United States will have gotten it over the fall and winter season that we're heading into right now that will uh, create a degree of you know immunity for our population we're not there yet that's something that's still in the future uh, but the other thing that I've been uh, waiting to hear about and it already has begun to happen is to see that doctors are getting better at treating people so that they're not dying as frequently by getting uh, COVID-19. Now it doesn't mean that COVID-19 is not a dangerous disease. Getting pneumonia sucks no matter how you want to look at it. Uh, you know, people who get colds and flus and it develops into pneumonia, that's like the worst kind of cold and flu that you can get. Uh, you know, getting pneumonia is not a good thing, but it's really good news to hear that doctors are getting uh, more proficient at treating people. And that's just natural when you get practice, you get better and better over time. And we're starting to see that. Now that doesn't mean that we should let our guard down. I think that it's really important for people all across the world, this fall and winter season in the Northern Hemisphere, because I know that the Southern Hemisphere is not on the same schedule of season as we are but people in the northern hemisphere as we head into the fall and winter it's really important that people you know keep to it uh, you know this is kind of the thing that we've been practicing for for the last several months this is when the real deal happens this is when the real cold and flu season happens the pneumonia season is about to start up so it's really important that people you know don't take this good news uh, uh, in a way that gets people starting to act cavalier about things you still have to be careful but once we get to the the other side of this 2021 uh, cold and flu and pneumonia season, I think things are going to be looking pretty good because a lot of people are not going to be as careful as you or I will have been. A lot of our population is going to have created a bit of immunity and, like I said, doctors are getting better at treating it. So at the beginning of this pandemic, I said that this pandemic would have a beginning, it'll have a middle, and it will have an end, and we're getting to over that hump. We're just about to get over the hump. You know, we're heading into the the fall and the winter season, things are going to be hard. We have to, you know, keep serious about it. But after we get through this, I think things are going to be a lot better based on, you know, just the natural way it is when a lot of people get something, it creates immunity. And the news that I heard this morning about doctors getting better at treating it. I hope that gives you a little bit of ray of sunshine <laughs> for your day. I know things are, are difficult. They're going to be uh, continuing to be difficult. They may even get a little bit more difficult going on into the future. I highly recommend that you do all the things that, you know, make sense. Uh, you know, if you're in a situation where society may have some trouble, have food, have water, uh, you know, have ability to create power, have the ability to keep your family warm through the winter. If, you know, services go down, if grocery stores, you know, aren't functioning as well as, you know, you would like. Do all of those things, but have some hope that once we get into the spring of 2021, I think things are going to be looking a lot better. That's it. Thanks for watching. Brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community, both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.